Well, as he mentioned, it's a hot day to battle a fire, but Toledo fire crews were on the scene of a two-alarm fire this afternoon. Happened at the intersection of Oak and Nevada in East Toledo. And the fire chief is calling this one straight up arson. He says whoever's been lighting up vacant houses in town has to stop. Allison Brown is on the scene in East Toledo with his plea to the public. <laughs> Take a look. This is all that's left of this home here on Oak Street. A complete loss. Chief Mike Mulver wants people to know that they should talk to police with any information about this because unnecessary fires are causing a lot of problems for people and for firefighters. Today at the intersection of Nevada and Oak in East Toledo, flames and smoke put firefighters to work just after 1 o'clock this afternoon. The TFD chief says this whole thing didn't even need to happen. Whoever's doing this is accelerating and getting bolder. This is broad daylight, and this, this corner is a pretty busy corner. There have been several arsons over the past several weeks. Chief Oliver didn't say if this one is linked, but he says the reward to stop whoever is doing this is at 10 grand. He wants to up that number because people are getting hurt. There's a lot of people in danger. These houses on either side of this could very easily have been occupied with people in them. That, that puts the, the neighbors at huge risk. And of course, our firefighters are at a huge risk. Today, one firefighter had to go to the hospital because his face shield broke and he may have had glass in his eye. People in this neighborhood are also disappointed about what's happening. You know, if it was an a intentional fire, then the kids really do need to be caught that's doing this. It's just silly things that kids are doing these days, and it's ridiculous. Very. Now, if you have any information about what may have caused this fire, please call Crime Stopper. That number, 419-255-1111. Again, that reward is $10,000 at this point. Reporting on the scene from East Toledo, Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News.